That's just a sacred issue of respecting marriage. So it's not an anti-gay thing. It, it, you know, I, I, you know, I've been hung in effigy by the gay community for a long time, from when I was on President Reagan's first AIDS commission. You know, when HIV first came out, President Reagan formed a commission. And I was honored to be on that commission. I listened to 300 witnesses tell us that it was everybody else's fault but their own. Nothing new with their contact. It was just the government didn't fix this disease. Uh, I didn't really, I, at the end of that, I put into the document that was the conclusion document from the commission uh, that actions have consequences and you are responsible for yours. AIDS is a disease that people gain because of their actions. It wasn't like cancer. We all made the exceptions for how you got it by accident. Uh, that was all solved a long time ago. Now, uh, but does that uh, debate but tie in with how you the gay marriage issue? It, it, it's it's from that point on. I that's when they were hanging me in effigy, mm -hmm. because I was I wasn't sympathetic mm -hmm. to all of their requests for special treatment, mm -hmm. because at that time it was always somebody else's fault. And I said, you are responsible for your actions too. You know. Conduct yourself properly, uh, which is a, a pretty solid Christian principle. That you know, you, you got to take a, take a, take responsibility for your actions. Uh, so uh, uh, it went from there to a series of requests for special treatment. And I'm just saying, I understand who you are. I accept who you are. Live your life. I will respect you, but don't keep asking for favors. Don't ask for a concession on a marriage issue, which is 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 not vital to them, in my opinion. They've made it a vital issue because they want to. Call it something else. Call it anything you want to. But marriage is a sacred document, okay? Mm -hmm. A sacred sacrament in the church and in the world. So just don't don't mess with it. Go do something else. And I I, I deal with a lot of wonderful gay people. I hire a lot of them. I use a lot of them. I respect them. They're terrific. And I have good friends with them. But, but you live your life the way you want to live it, and I'll live mine, and I won't stick my nose in yours. But, but don't keep trying to change things. That's all.